guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello, my name is Lauren. I am so excited for today's video because you guys, I have actually gotten this request and I just didn't do it for quite some time. And I was like, why am I not talking about this? I love this. And it is my five tips for starting an Etsy shop. Whether you are brand new to Etsy or you have just opened your shop and you are looking to really amp up your store and be successful, or you have not even created your Etsy shop and you're really looking for those steps and those tips and those tricks to get you started off on the right but you have found the correct video. I am so excited you guys are here. We're gonna go ahead and hop into those five tips though because I know you guys are here for the important part and that's the information. I am the exact same way when I watch my videos. I just wanna get right to it. My first tip if you are starting on an Etsy shop is to prepare some listings ahead of time. Now, it is very suggested um, that you have a small handful of items ready to go when you open up your shop. So if you have not opened your shop yet um, and you're waiting to start, or if you have, but you don't have any listings up yet, I suggest going ahead and making quite a few, as many as you can, quite honestly, to get you started. I say nine to 10 items at least when you're opening your shop because Likely you're not going to get sales if you only have one, two, maybe three items in your store. People are not going to be able to find you as well. And the Etsy algorithm is not going to be pushing you out at all. And it's just very frustrating and you get very discouraged when that happens. If you can create more than nine to 10, by all means do it, please. You need to. Um, I know there is a link out there for like 40 free Etsy listings or something like that. I will try and find that code and link it down below for you guys to check out. Um, because that's going to be a super big helpful game changer as well. So then you don't have to start out with like paying anything at all. And you can just get started on actually creating products for your shop. My second tip is to go ahead and find and create your social media channels, whether or not you want to actually start out using them, or if you want to maybe hop on that trend later in the game, it's totally fine and up to you. However, I think that you need to go ahead and save that name on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you're going to be promoting on just so that you know, no one else is taking it. And it's there when you're ready to start promoting on social media. And I think it's a good idea to just go ahead and start posting right away. Invite your family and friends to start following you so you get at least a little bit of support and just keep pushing along with it. My third tip for starting an Etsy shop is to actually choose something that you're going to enjoy making um, because it's gonna be a long process between now and when your store is like super running and successful and potentially even a full-time thing for you. So find something that you really enjoy doing. And even if you find that you're falling off the motivation track and you're just not feeling it some days, that is totally fine. Just remember that you need to be constantly coming back. If you take a break and you take a week off, don't let that stop you and make you want to close your shop. Don't do that. Just pick up where you left off and keep going. My fourth tip before opening your shop or once you have it open and like maybe you're deciding what you want to put in there and you just have a very general name is to do some research on your niche or what you think are the products that you want to sell. I think doing the research will really help you understand like where should your price point be at? What sort of things do you need to include in your description? What sort of problem solving things can you go ahead and pick out and say, okay, people are gonna have a hard time figuring out how to upload presets to Lightroom. Then you need to go ahead and figure out those solutions to how you're gonna get them that information. Um, see how other people are formatting their uh, mock pictures, like their main photo that they have. What kind of way are they doing their titles? What keywords are they using? I think that can be extremely helpful. Not only that, but it can also give you some inspiration on different ideas for things that you may want to create for your shop as well. And my last and final tip is of course, consistency. And I don't even just mean consistency with like constantly posting new listings although you should be, um, Etsy wants to see new listings constantly. And the more listings you do have, the more likely someone is gonna be able to find your shop. So the higher your listing count, the more opportunities people get to find your shop and come shop with you. There's also just kind of like that buyer's trust sort of there. Um, when someone has more items in their shop, you almost trust them more than someone who only has like one or two, which is a weird concept, but it's true if you think about it. But not only that, but just showing up every day on the Etsy app, whether you are renewing listings to promote them out in the store, 
or you're adding new listings, you're updating SEO on your listings, you're filling out different parts of your about me and your profile for your um, Etsy account, all those things count. Even sharing them on social media, pushing them out to other people to come and look at, encouraging your friends and family to come and purchase from you. These are things that you should be doing consistently overall to truly drive traffic to your Etsy shop and just bring more people to it. And the more that you show up, the more Etsy is gonna to wanna to promote your store. So doing these small things consistently over time is truly what's gonna help drive your store and its traffic and give it that really big step forward and make it a successful shop. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and watching this video. If you want to see more information about my personal Etsy shop, I will have it linked up here for you guys as well as down below in the description box. Also guys, if you found this helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can actually do that by clicking the little red subscribe button right down below. If you have any questions at all related to what we talked about today, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below as well. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, I do have a question of the day posted down there as well that you guys can go and interact with. I think it's a great way for us to learn from each other. If you have any tips and tricks to share, if you own an Etsy shop, I would love to hear them. And I think it's just a great way for us to have a community down in the comment section, all learn and grow and build our businesses together. <laughs> and without further ado, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I am going to link two suggestions up here for you to go and watch more videos or a playlist on more similar content, as well as my subscribe button right here so you can subscribe to my channel and my Etsy shop linked right here for you guys to go and check out for yourselves. Without further ado, that brings us to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.